Hi guys, it's 21 on me 121 here with another Chaos Hero battle. I believe it's the seventh one, so not many more. I really like this deck, but it has an awful Dark Wars matchup, pretty much. basically. Um, gonna activate that. Act summon Stratos. Just gonna special summon it. I know you can't special summon it, but just um, to speed it up. Um, that's good. I'm presuming it's good. I'm just gonna add another alias to my hand if it is good. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. And then I could go for Maestro, get Darks in my grave. I've got Trigodia. Still have six cards in my hand. Gets over Stratos. Most people don't seem to think Trigodia can be played in Heroes, which is uh, Light Swarm. Uh, Light Swarm? Or Chaos Dragons. Probably Chaos Dragons. He's running a Sangat. And they were awful mills, to be honest. But. Yeah, because at least I know he doesn't have... Well, he could have a solid recharge, but at least he's used all three, pretty much, all in one go. Um, yeah, Raikou is a good card, but he's going to have to hit one of my guys, like Stratos or Alias, pretty much, unless he's... Yeah. Dorso. Um, I'm actually going to summon Alias. Then, I am going to attack over the Raikou, so he sends my Alias to the Graveyard. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. That's pretty obvious play. Uh, because that allows me to go for Chaos Sorcerer if I need to. allows me to go for Miracle Fusion if I need to later on. It just opens up some other plays. So that's why I wanted to go... If I had to wish with Alias first, you would have got rid of my Stratos. Which, yeah, it's a bit weaker. Like, I could have kept my Alias on the field. But other than that, I want this. So, yeah. There's nothing really happening. Raikou, if you've got it added to your hand, it's perfect. Maybe for this it would have been okay. Um, okay, it's cool. You can activate your trooper's effect. I hopefully will draw into a tour guide and take control of it later. He has got lights and dark, so he could discard for light pulsar, etc. But if he goes for light pulsar, I'm just going to take it because actually, you know, this up from my side of the field or not BLS. Okay, yeah. What is this? Um, graveyard from the field to the graveyard. So it can be either side of the field to the graveyard. Um, what is he going to attack with? Okay, that's perfectly fine. I will take the 700 and I'm just going to special summon a Trigodia. 3000 attack Trigodia. And he has. What does he have? He has Dark Flare Dragon once I get rid of Light Pulsar. That's pretty much it. Like, I don't have a. Dark in the grave. Um, wait, how many darks will I have? I would only have one. I could go for Miracle Fusion, get out a Shining, attack, attack twice into Light Pulsar. That seems like a good option to me, I think. And it doesn't really decrease my Trigodi's attack. I could take his Light Pulsar. I believe I run a level 6 succeed. No. See, if I ran a level 6 exceed, for example, if I had Chaos Source and Trigodia, I would probably go for Bowser, but yeah, it's not worth it. It also makes my Super Poly, like, I could summon this and activate Super Poly, get rid of Dark Armed, take his um, Pulsar, go for a Shining, I, I'm i going to go for that, actually. But, uh, go for a Shining, I don't think it's worth it. If you think... Um, Hmm. I could attack, basically what I'm thinking is, if I summon Alias, go for thing, uh, Super Poly, get rid of Dark Arm Dragon, take off his Light Pulsar, then summon Chaos, attack over, then my Trigodia would be really weak and it's not, it's just not worth it. So I'm just going to go for this, Banish, Banish, uh, Special Summon Shining, then I'm going to get maximum damage in here by, with my 3200 Attacker attacking his light pulsar, unless he has on this, which would really irritate me, but yeah, I'll take more damage, but I'll get at least these cards back into my hand. 3200 attack. Because, uh, yeah. And then he's going to activate its effect. Yeah, that's cool. I'm just going to, um, what's this effect? Send. Target one card, you can banish one card. I'm not really fussed about this. Um, I'm going to attack over his trooper and just get damage in. Yeah, he gets to draw a card, but he doesn't get to mill. 
and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I could set super poly, but then my shiny will miss timing anyway, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Unless he can OTK me, which Chaos Heroes can do pretty quickly. I don't have any protection, which is unfortunate. It's, it's the curse of playing uh, Chaos Heroes because you have these powerful monsters, but once they you get rid of them or they die for any reason, you have no protection. I run double torrential, super poly, and Gemini sparks, and then a couple DD crows and a couple of Veilers. It's not really that much protection. Um, I'm presuming that's a Raikou. No one sets in um, yeah, that that doesn't happen. I don't care what kind of. No one sets in Chaos Heroes. They just don't have the space. Oh, unless it's a Lance. That's the only option I can think of. What's this level? Level 5. Um, I don't have any darks in my grave at the moment. And because you poly and discard another super poly. Um, yeah, I'm just going to look for the attack. I could technically get more damage in. Mirror Force, no. Raikou. Pretty sure it's a Raikou. Um, okay, you can get rid of my track. That's perfectly fine. He doesn't know about Shining missing timing. And that's all his solar recharges, so that's pretty much half his engine gone. He can, of course, still go for BLS, so just in case he does. And now I have no worry in what I set. So I'm just going to set Super Poly. I know, yeah, Shining misses timing, but if he gets for BLS and he activates this effect, I guess, fine. You can go Neg 1, effectively. Ah, oh, nice. That's nice if he gets to draw a card, which, yeah, so he doesn't go neg one. That's, yeah, Call of the Haunt is a pretty good card, especially when you're running True Pants, Sangan, um, things like that, because you can chain them to MSTs, you go plus one on them. Sangan, you get to choose which card you want to go for. And if he had BLS, he would only be able to banish, which would mean that I would, can go for other plays as well. He's going to remove for Chocolia from play? I don't, I don't know. Okay, he can activate your effect. You'd have a discard and then, well, that's your cost. Um, you can, what are you going to say, what? He, yeah, he accidentally sent top deck. Uh, he's probably going to send a wyvern, uh, banish the red eyes, and then banish another card. Okay, he's just going to send red eyes, so maybe he has light pulsar. Uh, discard two for light pulsar? I don't know. Technically that was actually not a bad play, since he may, uh, chaos sorcerer is a bit dead now. But I could super poly just get rid of dark on. So I like dark, because of super poly. There are very few cards that are dead, because if they're ever dead, you can just discard them, and then, yeah, it's te still technically a neg one, but it still it utilizes your cards better. So, if a crow's ever dead, I can discard it. If a Gemini Spark's ever dead, discard it. If I need lights in the graveyard, discard uh, Alias or Valor. Or if I need darks, I can discard Dark Arm Dragon and Sangan or Tall Guide. And I don't understand that play. Ah, that's a nice card to draw into. Um... We'll go for normal that. I'm actually going to create Gemini Spark. Just in case it's a Raikou, I don't particularly want to uh, face one. Okay, it's a Lila. Okay. Yeah. Maybe not the better play, but I'm just going to go for it. And it puts another light in my graveyard if I need it. So you can. He's down to two cards. I'm um, just going to set my Super Poly again because, as I said, just in case BLS just comes out, yeah, now I have Baylor Protection, which is nice. Which means that he activates effect, discard, attack over, because I am at 3200. The Shining is just such a beefy card. What are they going to do against him? What? Okay, what is that? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to fail it, right? What is he going to do now? Yeah. Do I have any darks? Unfortunately not. Which um, would be really nice because I could go for... I know technically failing it wasn't the best thing to do. I might just attack into it now though. I just wanted to see what I would draw into. Maybe failing was a neg one to be honest. But if I attack twice, I can attack into it. Um... I really want that dark in my grave. Attack into it. Um, get these two back to my hand. Uh, summon, activate, super poly. Not. 
it's not worth it any of this any of these options I could just go for a second shining and I'll be at three thousand uh, well, I'd be at 3,200, 3,500, which still isn't quite, quite high enough, unfortunately. Um, that's a pretty nice card to add in. Three thousand five hundred attack is still not enough. Next turn, I can just yeah, I should have just waited to be honest. Um, I should have just gone for the attack, but yeah, I'm just gonna attack into him. So I take four hundred. Uh, activate its effect. Uh, get these cards back to my hand. Then I can just summon Stratos, activate its effect. Okay, that's fine, I'm not fast because I can still super poly discard and dark. And then I'll have even more darks in my grave because he's a dark. So I could go for another shining, but I'm not gonna go for it. I'm just gonna end my turn right there. Yeah, I did misplay there. I should have just allowed the attack to go through and not fail. I did go neg one for that. But um Okay, chain. I'm gonna get rid of my uh, this and then get rid of that. Okay, he left. I'm pretty sure that was game. Um, I'm gonna go for a this one, the Esquado. Um, then his Lila would have milled three in the end phase. Um, that would have been gone. Then next turn, I would have. Did I discard? Yeah, I did. I would have had um, a live BLS if I needed to, so banish light, banish dark, special summon BLS, attack, attack, attack if I needed to, and I even had um, Miracle Fusion to go for another Shining, or something like that. I'm pretty sure I had game, but that's a really nice tech card. Maybe I'll um, put it in if I ever play Chaos Strikers in the future, because I like playing it beforehand, before everything got hit. It was a really powerful deck, in my opinion, and most people's opinion, that's why it was bad. But yeah, 21 21, signing out.